Broadcasting live worldwide. 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel Local, almost home for Red Dirt. Another exclusive interview with Zach Day here momentarily. Talking about that new single we're going to debut as well. And future and current projects touring the whole bit. And it's all going to be brought to you by Billingsley Ford Lincoln Service Department. On the corner of Corner Parker Trailway and 82nd Street, Lawton, Oklahoma. Jason and the crew takes care of your vehicle no matter the make or model. And let me tell you, your vehicle have been taking a beating folks make sure you get a hold of jason to make sure it's up to par because the burr months are just right around the corner like september october november and december and you know we're about to get cold at some point and you don't want to be broken down on the side of the road whether it be tires or tune-ups they got you covered at billingsley ford lincoln service department if you need a new vehicle go ahead and talk to my buddy jeff shaw he can get you hooked up in the showroom as well earl's red palace top branch tree service western oklahoma state college hey zach how you doing buddy thanks for taking the time to talk to me today I heard you had a good weekend yeah, I sure did, and I appreciate you uh, letting me come on the on the show. We did a few shows this weekend around Colorado, and I got uh, four or five coming up this week. So I'm trying to get all my thing, all my ducks in a row, get my van cleaned up. Apparently, I'm good at making a mess all by myself. <laughs> I understand. I mean, my little Ford Focus, let me tell you, it, it, it has seen the miles and it's just like a, my front seat's like an office. Trust me. <laughs> well, buddy, uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to me this afternoon. And uh, like I said, thank you for uh, having great music. I like the song and we're going to de- debut Damn Cocaine here in just a little bit. But give us a little bit of background on your musical journey and what led you to penning such a very cool song. And it's you know, an important subject matter that at the same time, time you know it's something most folks can kind of relate to you know and some folks you know overcome those things and get on with life and i like how you pin this song together so give us a little bit of background and how you got there yeah so i'm a i'm originally from mississippi and i moved to austin texas uh about a year and a half ago and um i taught myself how to play guitar to hank williams senior stuff probably about 10 years ago and uh started writing songs right after that and so uh, with that amount of time, I've been around a lot of musicians. And, uh, you know, as we all know, musicians like to party. And uh, it's always in front of them if they want to do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. luckily for me, I've, uh, you know, I'm not an innocent bystander by any means. But uh, I've realized where, the, where my lines need to be drawn. And, uh, and I realize that some of my buddies have not. And, uh, and it affects the way they play on stage and the way they act. And, and it... You know, it hurts the band, it hurts everybody, it hurts them especially. And, and that was kind of the motivation for writing that song. And, uh, you know, I hope that it, it'll resonate with some of those guys and girls and uh, maybe they'll, you know, get some, some kind of insider perspective from listening to that song. Yeah, help them pave a better way to kind of get it done. I mean, you can have a good time, but sometimes, you know, those vices get in the way. And then, you know, you, we are in a business. I mean, when you're a musician... That's the goal is to do it long term and make a career out of it and make a lifestyle out of it and, you know, and, you know, have a living for your families or potential families en route. Hopefully, you know, like you said, it will resonate with them and get them to make different decisions or get to that point at some juncture. I hope that, you know, there's a few of my friends out there that are using it on a daily basis. Maybe they'll, uh, they'll realize the music's more important than all the rest of the stuff. Yeah, music is supposed to be the ultimate goal, man. And I love that that you are, you know, a travel man. You've been here, there, everywhere, man, within a matter of days. And don't look like it's letting up anytime soon. So I know you're on the road. What's your plans like through the fall, rolling into 23? And have you already started booking 23 yet? I have not started 23 yet. I'm uh, I'm working out the rest of this year. I'm, I'm going to be back in Texas for... Uh, a good chunk of the fall and then i think sometime in november and december i'm gonna be back i got a few shows booked down in florida and then uh probably some around mississippi and alabama mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i may finish out the year into the new year uh over there in the southeast somewhere closer to home and then uh get back to austin right after the new year so i'm still working on hell right now i'm just trying to get through the day to tell you the truth Right. And you know what? That That's very cool. I mean, because we can only take one day at a time. <laughs> it's hard to live two or three months ahead of time, but, you know, we got to do it. Yes, sir. Now, as far as a uh, full-fledged album, is that in the works or EP, something like that, new singles? 
I think an EP is not out of the question. Uh, I did an LP a, a few years ago, and uh, the problem was I just didn't really know what to do with it, how to get it out there. And so what I've been trying to do with like this single, and I, you know, I may do a couple more singles and just throw it all together into an EP, is just trying to figure out a good strategy for getting listens and you know getting it out there and, and all that before I invest in a full album and then you know just sit on that album with nothing to do, really do with it. So you know that's what I'm trying to kind of find my way uh, through this, all these potholes of getting music out to the to all the listeners out there. Well, you're doing really good with us here at 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel, so uh, anytime you want to cook something up and uh, get it out there, you got a platform, you got one the best, in my opinion, station in Oklahoma to uh, help out the independents, True Grit, Texas, and Red Dirt, so you got us here, partner. Well, I appreciate that. I'm going to have to make a trip up there and maybe we can do like a live performance or something, but oh, yeah, I definitely man. need to come through Oklahoma and do some shows. All right. Well, uh, heck, I might know a couple places, so later on we'll get together <laughs> and talk about that. Well, we're going to take a quick little break, pay a couple of bills, and then we're going to talk about, well, actually, we're going to take a break, pay a couple of bills, play the single, come back, and then talk about recapping kind of what you're going to be doing the rest of the year and uh, let people know how to get a hold of you. How's that sound? That sounds good to me. All right, well, you're listening to an exclusive interview with Zach Day right here at True Grid at Noon on Oklahoma's home for Red Dirt, 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel. Make sure you get the 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel app in your app store. Take us anywhere in the world that you are. We'll be right back. Oklahoma barbecue at its finest is Earl's Rib Palace. 26 years and still smoking can provide you with the quality barbecue that you need for your event. Whether it be the big game, whether it be a board meeting, or just a gathering of friends and family, we can take care of your catering needs, 10 or more. Find out how at earlsribpalace.com. Born and Raised Music Festival, presented by Patriot Auto Group, September 16th through the 18th, Friar, Oklahoma, featuring Leonard Skinner, Cody Jinks, Zach Bryan, Brothers Osborne, Margot Price, Randy Rogers Band, Josh Abbott Band, Flightland Calvary, Wade Bowen, and many more. Purchase your passes now at bornandraisedfestival.com. Sponsored by Budweiser. Top Branch Tree Service is the best in the Southwest at 785-375-2023. Oklahoma weather can be unpredictable and tree damage could happen. But when it does, you got a professional who is bonded, licensed, and will help you remove shrubbery, tree removal, stump removal, pest inside the trees. Jordan Creer, owner and operator, he will do it all. Give him a call today, 785-375-2023. That number one more time, 785-375-2023. Top Branch Tree Service gets the job done. Damn. 
damn cocaine with 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel, Oklahoma's home for Red Dirt. Make sure you're checking us out at foxradio.fm. And uh, you can listen to all the stations that's affiliated with Fox Radio Incorporated, including one of the best classic country stations, I think, in the state of Oklahoma, which is 1420 KTJS. That's our sister station. Like I said, we'd be playing the True Grit Texas Red Dirt Country from the name, well-named people to the independents and everybody in between. And I got a buddy of mine, new friend of mine, still on the line with me, Zach Day. And we just played that single, Damn Cocaine. And let's recap quickly, uh, Zach, because I know you're a busy man. You said you're on the road right now, which is great, and uh, that you're working kind of through the end of the year. Yeah, right now I'm in Colorado. Uh, I'll be out here till uh, probably the first of September, mm-hmm. and doing a bunch of shows around kind of these um, these old ski towns up here, and trying to escape that Texas heat while I got a chance to. And then um, I'll be back in Texas from September through probably November or so, and then uh, playing locally around Austin and. Yeah, within a couple hours of Austin for the most part. And then uh, I'm going to go down to Florida in November, probably wrap up the end of the year in Mississippi and Alabama. And then uh, we'll see what's going to happen after that. I haven't I haven't been able to focus that far out yet. Well, yeah, and thank you, though, for that update on, on where you're at. And uh, how can people get a hold of you to kind of keep track of where you're scooting through? I try to keep my stuff updated on uh, on my website, on Instagram. My website is ZachDayMusic.net. And I'd get .com, but somebody had bought it and trying to sell it to me for a bunch of money, and so I told them that they can just keep it. So it's <laughs> ZachDayPizza.net, and then uh, my Instagram is ZachDayOfficial. So you type in one of those things, and you'll, you ought to come across me somewhere. Well, all right, Zach. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me, and uh, thank you for giving us that great single. And I look forward to talking to you some more here in the near future. And uh, when you get some more tunes ready to go in the can and 
launched on radio, give me a holler and I'll take care of you. Well, hey, I sure do appreciate it. Us independent folks, we, we need folks like you. So I sure do thank you for it. Well, you're very welcome, sir. We've been listening to an exclusive interview with Zach Day, and uh, his single will be spun quite frequently here at The Rebel called Bam Kill Kane. And more great music from uh, The Rebel is up ahead. After these messages, you've been listening to 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel True Grit at Noon. Born and Raised Music Festival, presented by Patriot Auto Group, September 16th through the 18th, Friar, Oklahoma, featuring Leonard Skinner, Cody Jiggs, Zach Bryan, Brothers Osborne, Margot Price, Randy Rogers Band, Josh Abbott Band, Flightland Calvary, Wade Bowen, and many more. Purchase your passes now at bornandraisedfestival.com. Sponsored by Budweiser. Oklahoma barbecue at its finest is Earl's Rib Palace. 26 years and still smoking can provide you with the quality barbecue that you need for your event. Whether it be the big game, whether it be a board meeting, or just a gathering of friends and family, we can take care of your catering needs. Ten or more. Find out how at earlsribpalace.com. 